Check out how this hospital that I built loads in piece by piece. I have to admit, it's pretty cool to see every asset I've placed loading in bit by bit, but I think this comes with a big problem that I'll explain soon. So about a week ago, I received a message from a fellow Discord user named Jackie Wacky YT. He explained that he had a great idea for a horror game. He told me the story and theme, but asked for my help building the hospital. I was interested in this project because I've never created this type of building or a horror game. So after about a week of work, here's what Jackie and I have come up with. All right, so let's load into this game and check it out because I'm pretty proud of it. Whoa, wait a second, let's slow that down. So you'll see here that there is a spider monster and some other assets falling down. Now this is the big problem that I was talking about. So what's happening is enemies and items that have weight to them are falling through the floor as this building loads. So I had to put this warning sign instructing the player to hit the restart button after the game loads. Otherwise, enemies and items are gonna be in the wrong spot and it completely ruins the experience. So I had to put that disclaimer there. So let's go check out what's going on. So when you go to the main lobby of the hospital, you're gonna see that there is a zombie in there. He is not supposed to be there. He fell from the upper floor. And here's that same spider monster that we saw. He fell from the upper floor and that is a very powerful enemy that you're not meant to face yet. So this really damages the game if you don't restart it to fix the loading. So let's just play through this so you can see what I mean about how it ruins the game. All right, this guy's not that bad at least. All right, let's move along. And look here, the flashlight has fallen through the counter. It's just inside the counter. That's not what we want. All right, so let's go into the first room and we're gonna do this quickly and I'll properly showcase the game after I show this bug. So let's just take care of this guy. And if you walk around, see this heart is supposed to be on the bed, but due to the way this game loads in, it was off the bed. All right, so now to the problem area. You know, we're still in the very beginning of the game, and the player is trying to get used to how to play this game. You're not meant to face this crazy of an enemy yet. So I'm going to grab this health kit just to see if I can beat him. Okay, and there's no way I'm beating that guy. This game is unplayable. All right. So now let's, you know what? Let's go ahead and restart from inside the hospital to show this further. So we're inside the hospital. See everything loading in? All right. Let's see what happens now. Well, now I have two flashlights for some reason. Let's go in here. And now that I loaded it from this spot, look at this. The best weapon in the game has fallen from the roof of the hospital. That's a nice little glitch, huh? But again, it completely ruins the experience of this game. All right, so let's go in here and you'll see how, yeah, that's me jumping for joy because I got the best weapon in the game. So let's go in here and, oh, where'd the spider monster go? He just disappeared. All right, you see how easy it was to kill that zombie with this gun. So the whole point of this is just to, oh, here's another one the door for some reason acts like it's not opening even though it is it's like a visual glitch okay cool all right so let's go see if that spider monster glitched through he probably did so you see you know, each one of these items and enemies is placed for a reason and and play tested very thoroughly and that completely ruins the game so here's my warning sign you have to restart the game from the menu. Restart. There we go. All right, now let's show the game off the way it was meant to be played. And before we move on, I just wanna say that the Struck dev team are very active in the Discord and they update this game almost weekly. So I feel pretty confident that eventually this type of bugs will get fixed. All right. So let's get started. 
now that the game has loaded in properly. So the player starts in front of the hospital and we enter in the emergency room. And there's not supposed to be any enemies in here. I just want them to get a sense of the atmosphere. So when I designed this hospital, I took big inspiration from Resident Evil. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to watch my dad play Resident Evil 1, and I absolutely loved it. You know, it was a perfect mix of action, puzzle solving, and horror, and that's what I kind of went for with this. So the whole game setup is to progress, you have to get the right item to unlock the doors. So see here, it's stuck. I bet I could smash this lock open with a hammer. So I need a hammer to go in that room. To enter the blue ring door, I needed a flashlight. So there we go, it's on the counter this time. Great, let's go in the first door. All right, so you can actually interact with this zombie. And to do this, you need to set his enemy detection to about a three and you can actually safely talk to him and after you talk, then he'll attack you. It's a pretty neat feature. So I really like that effect. Defeat this zombie, the very first one, and you get the hammer. Now we can progress. And we'll walk over this way and there's the heart on the bed as it should be. Great. So now we're slowly introducing the player to the mechanics so they can get comfortable with it. All right, so now we got the hammer to open this door. And now we got a zombie in here attacking this poor lady. Let's save her. Easy. And he dropped a pistol. So the pistol is what we need to move on to the cafeteria. Let's pick up a health kit. We're doing good now. Let's keep going. All right, so we've made it into the cafeteria and the stairs, and creating stairs is pretty tricky, but if you check out my previous video, I show how to do that a lot easier. All right, and now we reach one of our first little mini bosses. It's this big boy monster, and for being such a big boy, he runs pretty quick. So you can try to cheese him by going through the door or the stairs, but once you get him, he'll drop an AR. So now you see, we're constantly progressing, and I think the player's constantly feeling like they're getting stronger. All right, let's head upstairs to the waiting room. And look at that, a coffee bar. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely addicted to coffee. I just love the stuff. All right, so up here, we're gonna have some zombies, but now we got an AR. And look how coins just explode out of them. I absolutely love that. I think it makes, you know, these more mundane, smaller fights that much more exciting. If you've ever played the Fallout series, there is a perk, I think it's called uh, Bottle Cap explosion or something like that and when you kill an enemy there's a chance that they'll explode into a pile of bottle caps I absolutely love that I can add something like that in a struct game all right so let's collect all these coins and now we have enough money to go buy some of my beloved coffee so let's go do that Now there was a burger and a soda for sale downstairs, but nope, two cups of coffee. All right, let's move on to the nurse's station. And you'll see each room, I tried to add a different theme to make sure there was plenty variety in this game. 
So in the nurse's station, it has been overrun by spiders. All right, so these baby spiders are easy, but the mama spider has got a lot of health, but luckily she moves pretty slow. So let's take her out. Oh, I wanna give you a little trick. Any game you play instruct, mine or others, if you swap weapons, it automatically reloads. So if you're playing a team deathmatch, instead of waiting to reload, just swap guns and it instantly reloads the gun. All right, you know what? After all that talk about bugs at the beginning of the video, I'm ready to just squish these bugs. So Struct, if you're watching, here's how to squish bugs. If only it were that easy to fix bugs in video games. All right, so let's check out the nurse's station. We have the roof access ladder, the operation room, in the recovery room. All right, and for this door, we're gonna need fire to burn off the spider webs. And there's the really powerful insect monster that fell through the floor towards the beginning of the video. And for the ladder access to the roof, we're gonna need a powerful shotgun to shoot open the latch. All right, let's try the operating room. And we're able to go in there. And with this room, Resident Evil really was a big inspiration. This really reminds me of like the Tyrant, if you've ever played the Resident Evil series. Bad scientist. Why is it that scientists always do this kind of stuff in video games and movies? All right, so let's get this med kit. We got the flamethrower now. Let's go to the next room and roast up this insect. So even though we have the flamethrower now, this guy's tough and he still puts up a pretty good fight. Look how much damage he's dealing. I got a heal mid-fight and now I got him on the run. You're safe today, Mr. Scientist. All right, so the insect dropped the shotgun. We can now go up the ladder to the roof. Oh, and I've noticed when you organize your inventory and move guns around, it kind of throws your camera all over the place. Hopefully that gets fixed too. So if you're not familiar with Struct and you happen to be watching this video, hopefully you've seen the type of a game that you can create on your cell phone for free. So I hope you give it a try. All right, we're on the roof. Let's blast these zombies with a shotgun. I love how the coins explode out. And it looks like the helipad is this way. Maybe we can escape. Now I decided to make this final boss, you know, like the Tyrant, be the only jump scare in this game because Instructor haven't really figured out a way to do a decent jump scare other than just surprising the player.
player, and I didn't want that to feel cheap, so I limited it to just the boss fight. Okay, this final boss is tough. Let's get this med kit, our flamethrower, let's chug a cup of coffee, and now we're ready to fight. Let's see what we can do against this guy. Alright, so this guy is pretty tough. He has a ton of health and his health regenerates. So if you can make your way past him over here, you will find the strongest weapon in the game. It's the one that fell through the floor in the beginning. But now we have it and let's defeat this final boss. It is possible to kill him with your normal weapons, but if you grab this gun, you can absolutely kill him. You can see he still almost gets me. Alright, so let's pick up the welding gun that he drops so that we can repair this lock and make our escape to end the game. Alright, so now you saw the hospital that I built and the gameplay elements that I designed. The game is going to be called Lost Souls 1, Abandoned Hospital by Jackie Wacky. So remember, he came up with the idea, the theme, and the setting. He just needed my help. So after I did my part, I gave him the copy, and he did the rest. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to go try the game out for yourself for free. If you're interested in getting my help in one of your games please like and comment on this video because I'm going to start a new series where I help fellow creators. So let me know if you want my help and you could be chosen. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.